all right hi everyone welcome back to my channel we have very chill vibes in my room right now because i'm about to go to bed it is 1 a.m um let me read this comment i just got on my video uh, <sighs> which i'm not upset about the comment but i'm gonna read it for you guys well one i'm getting roasted for um <laughs> I made, like, did the trend anything can be an album cover, right? I've noticed with, like, my shorts and stuff, I'll get, like, probably more hate. And it's probably, like, just little kids. I feel like me being fat um, makes me an easy target for, I guess, like, people's fat jokes or just to make comments about my weight in general. But I've gotten it so much that I honestly don't. It doesn't bother me. It's just, like, oh. People trolling, people just wanting attention, trying to be rude or whatever. Um, okay, so this person, I don't want to show their name, left a very long comment on a shorts I posted on my vlog channel. <clears throat> and they basically said oh no this hurts my heart you see you are very beautiful do not get me wrong but being fat is very unhealthy i get it i get it with inflation healthy food is much more expensive but sometimes you have to make a sacrifice i see you have plenty of clothes and instead of buying those you could be buying healthy foods to help you go on a diet. You are very pretty, but you're letting your beauty go to waste because if you were in shape, you would be much more attractive. Not just because you would be more healthy, but because it would fit your facial frame better. Recently, I read this article about obesity in America, and the summary is obesity can significantly impact overall health as it often leads to a range of serious medical conditions. Excess body fat can contribute to the development of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Additionally, obesity increases the risk of joint problems, sleep apnea, and certain types of cancer. The added weight can strain the cardiovascular system and decrease physical mobility, leading to a lower quality of life. Maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise is crucial for reducing these risks and promoting overall well-being. Please, please, please take care of yourself and your temple the way God intended. You are very, very pretty and you have so much more potential than this. Do not let this be your life. And by the way, emotional eating is very unhealthy. I'm not saying you do it, do it but I'm just saying that might be a part of the factor. Stay safe, pretty girl. So I actually was not... I'm really offended by the comment or anything like I understand like the person is coming from a good place so my response to this was just I've struggled with losing weight most of my life which is true and then I said I'm actually pretty healthy for the most part even compared to people who are smaller than me but I understand the concern I am working on my fitness journey as well which I am so I'm not offended by that comment because I think like the person had good intentions, of course. And I think overall, like comments about my weight don't offend me the way that a lot of other people would be offended because I'm not delusional about the fact that I'm overweight. Like obviously I can afford to lose some weight. Now that being said, I don't contribute um like it doesn't mean I think I'm ugly or less than or not worthy because ultimately I don't put all of my focus on my weight or on my physical appearance but at the end of the day I know I can't afford to lose well a lot of weight like honestly probably at close to 100 pounds if not more would be my goal to lose weight so I've restarted, and this is just me being honest, I've struggled losing weight most of my life. I feel like I haven't really been able to find a 
um, routine that works for me. And I've made lots of videos talking about like my struggles with losing weight or just like having my weight loss journey. Part of it is consistency, but another part of it is also just like I don't my motivation to lose weight always comes and goes. Um, I actually have lost about 10 pounds probably since last month, but um, basically I got sick for like three weeks and during that time I was stopped going to the gym. Um, the only times I've consistently lost weight was doing like um, alternate day fasting, which that type of fasting I don't think is good for long term and then or doing like extreme workouts so like I remember back in high school or something I was like I would work out for an hour every day and I was losing weight because I was like running for 30 minutes walking for 30 minutes but I was doing like an hour actually I think it was more than that I would run for 30 minutes and then walk for an hour and I was losing a lot of weight doing that, but again, it wasn't something I was doing consistently. So I do try to eat healthy, um, or I am trying to eat healthier um, and eat out less. And I also do, um, I don't think any as much anymore, but I used to have a very bad um, emotional eating especially when my emotions were out of control I would eat out of emotions and I also think I struggled with um, what's it called um binge eating I would binge eat um uh, like my binge eating was my emotional eating um and I also think kind of fasting did help with that a little bit so I'm not opposed to like intermittent fasting or anything like that and I documented I think back in 2019 I did alternate day fasting for about a month and lost 16 pounds um which was probably the most weight I've lost um and I wanted to and I do want to try doing that again um, because I think it did benefit me in a lot of ways. I was drinking more water. Um, it helped with like appetite control because when you do fast, you shrink your stomach. And so you also don't crave eating um, food as much and it naturally shrinks your stomach. Um, and my mom's been trying to get me to do intermittent fasting. But I don't know what intermittent fasting actually works for me because I already have do not eat super consistently. So like for today, I had a coffee this morning from Dunkin' um, and then I ate food after church. I got wings like I do a treat myself Sunday. So I allow myself to eat out on Sundays um, is like my guilt free eating out day. And I just treat myself to like either lunch or dinner. Typically lunch after church is what I do it. But that was my one meal I actually ate today. Now, was it a big meal? Yes, but that's all I've eaten all day. And I have a pretty, I don't consistently eat breakfast. I do also think like for me, I think like, I'm my body is constantly in starvation mode almost and so it's like my body holds on to the fat more because of that and I think that's one of the reasons why I don't lose weight unless I starve myself for a significant amount of time because my body is used to starving and so it doesn't want to shed the fat which is also not healthy but I don't know. I think, and then when I do actually eat, like, my body's like, oh, let's keep all the fat from what you've ate because we don't know when we're eating again. So being in starvation mode for a long term I don't think is healthy or good for your body. 
um what else um I think it's just like figuring out what I can do consistently so part of my goals with my fitness journey is working out more so three to four times a week I try to work out now like I said I was sick for the past three weeks and wasn't doing that consistently I wanted to do one or two months of alternate day fasting as well um the crazy thing is I um did like a three-day fast back in the beginning of August so when I initially got sick I couldn't eat anything so I went like three days and didn't eat anything and I lost weight but then um I got put on steroids and antibiotics and apparently being on steroids makes you makes um you gain weight um I'm not 100% sure about that um but after like the third day like I stopped losing weight of when I like started eating again after my fast like and I stopped like my weight stopped um going down so I do think for me it's been hard to figure out like what routine actually works for me as far as something I can do consistently because in order to lose weight especially if it's because of really bad habits you have to be consistent you have to be motivated and that's something that I feel like I haven't consistently been motivated to lose weight it comes and goes but I do have a goal um, my goal, I am on my fitness journey as of this moment. Like, I want to be in shape the last year of my 20s. So that is something I am trying to focus on right now because I don't want to spend my entire 20s being overweight, which is pretty much what I've experienced. However, I also just want to add, like, I, if and when I do, do, decide to lose weight it is going to be for me and no one else i am not losing weight in order to impress people in order for people to find me more attractive like that has never been a big motivator for me like i do not want to lose weight to impress other people so i feel like my motivation has to be for myself which again, like I made it my own goal. Like I just want to have, I don't, I want to be in shape the last year of my 20s. So basically by like summer of next year is when I hope to like accomplish this for the most part. But again, right now I'm just working on figuring out like a good routine. So one, there's so many steps it takes, right? To like trying to change a lot of things over time is kind of hard. So you have to make smaller changes, um, smaller changes until you can, you know, build up to all of the bigger changes or the overall change. So I want to drink more water, work out more. I want to start running again because I used to actually be a decent runner. I did long distance. I used to do cross country. Um... I ran track all four years of high school. Now, the last three years, I was not a runner. I was doing the field, <laughs> field events. <laughs> but I actually used to run long distance. Um, and then it made me hate running. But I want to try to get back into running. Um, try to work out at least three times a week at the gym. But really four. So... I'm trying to figure out, like I said, my a good workout regimen for myself. Um, probably this month and next month, I might do my alternate day fasting. I kind of want to do alternate day fasting until I get under 200. And then once I'm under 200 is when I want to focus on just like toning and fitness well I'm doing all of that at once but anyways I'm figuring out what does and doesn't work for me 
Um, as far as my eating habits, I also have to figure out, like, what meals, like, what or what is something that I can, like, keep up with. Obviously, like, um, meal prepping is something that's really big for, um, if you want to lose weight, like, calorie control. And when I did go to the Biggest Loser Resort with my mom, Earlier this year, we were being fed a lot of food, and I didn't feel like I lost as much weight because of that, but at the same time, like, I built a lot more muscle during that time. I think I lost, like, nine, um, well, no, I think I lost seven pounds of fat and gained, like, five pounds of muscle or something, so I didn't actually lose much weight in the whole week but I did gain a lot of muscle like I changed my body compos composition in a lot of ways so and they also did give us a meal plan so I like I said I'm still figuring out for myself like exactly what does and doesn't work for me what's a fitness routine that I can do consistently and changes that I can make that will actually last long term so that it's not just a temporary, but, you know, long-term fix. <clears throat> but I definitely do have goals to work on my health and fitness and all of that stuff. So I didn't find the comment offensive at all. I do, do, like, agree with a lot of what the person said. Like, there are. I still believe, and this is just me, like, I thank God every day for my health because... I have family members. Honestly, and I feel like health at the end of the day, like, yes, being overweight puts you at risk, but there are people who look healthy, super healthy on the outside and have way more health problems than I've had as a plus size girl my entire life. So it's just like, you really can't predict someone's health just based off of their size but I get what that person is saying like being overweight does put you at risk of a lot of um, chronic diseases heart disease diabetes and I do have family members who are at risk for diabetes so that is something that I definitely understand and take seriously and everything but again at the end of the day my personal um goals and motivation is what it's going to take for me to actually lose the weight and I'm trying to find something consistent for myself um and make the change like small changes that I can to have a more healthy lifestyle overall but that is one of my goals so just keep I will try to keep you guys updated on it um, but like I said, I'm still figuring out what does and doesn't work for me. Um, I think alternate day fasting is something I want to do, is something I'm trying to do just because it helps you lose the weight a little more quickly, but I also know it's not something I could do long term. So, yeah. But I think two things can be true at once, so... We'll see, um, but I'm going to try to do updates like monthly as far as um, keeping track of my fitness goals, so I will probably start that this month because today's, or it's September, it's Monday now, but September 1st, Sunday is the day um, that, the beginning of the month, so it's a perfect time. Um, to start tracking everything so I will take like my weight from I don't think I weighed myself this morning oh that reminds me I gotta switch my calendar because I still have August calendar up right now um but yeah definitely um that definitely is something I'm working on actively at the moment um and just figuring out you know what the what routine can I do consistently that will 
give me the results because I do want to have um, healthier habits. I want to drink my water, um, eat healthier, not eat out as much, and just have, like, better fitness. Like, I don't want to feel winded walking for, like, one or two miles. So, um, yeah, that's one of our goals for myself at this point point anyway so um and I sometimes do think like you just have to be realistic with yourself at the end of the day if you are someone who struggles is struggling with your weight or losing weight like no one can force you to do it um you have to be motivated to do it for yourself and I've struggled with the motivation aspect for many years I go like I tried many times and, you know, maybe worked for a little bit, but then I lost the motivation, stopped trying, stopped caring, whatever. So the biggest challenge, I feel like for me, honestly, losing weight is myself and staying motivated. So that's something I'm praying about, um, asking God to help me with, and also just, you know, um, it's just something you have to just keep trying at, but... I've never seen myself being overweight for like the rest of my life. So I know it's probably time at this point to really focus on it while I'm still youngish. I know a lot of people say I'm still young, but I feel like I'm my 30s are right around the corner, y'all. I know I look young, but mm, we're pushing 30 real soon. So, like I said, I want to have one year in my 20s being in shape healthy fit fit tish I don't know um but every body is different so again I still love and appreciate myself and the person I am regardless of my size I do not place my self value into my weight so it doesn't like really bother me you know whether I'm overweight or underweight I know I'm still a valuable person and what really matters is you know your goals for yourself right like if something's bothering you then you have to be the one to fix it to be quite honest with you being overweight did it like it doesn't bother me all the time it bothers me sometimes I kind of didn't care for the longest or was kind of just like indifferent but I do think as I'm getting older I'm like okay I actually want to work on this because this is something that I do think um well one I don't want to struggle with my weight forever but also I just want to be in better shape at the end of the day so yeah I just wanted to quickly share that the comment the response and like comments like that the thing is I know I I think like three months ago because I think the content I'm putting up right now is still like three months behind I don't know when you guys are gonna see this or when it will be caught up today is September 2nd so whenever you're watching this I guess is how far behind you guys are on my channel but um um, I guess in the vlog I was ranting about like the comments I got I do think like sometimes I can let comments bother me but for the most part like even like super hateful comments don't bother me most of the time like when people are just trolling or looking for a reaction or just saying things just to be mean um most of the time they don't bother me it's just like every now and then they do I'm human at the end of the day and some days you don't want to hear every person's opinion on you. But I do think I'm getting thicker skin. Like, I feel like the more, you know, mean or hurtful comments you get, the less it's going to start hurting you. I also am learning to just ignore it. Like, sometimes I do want to be, like, responding back. But usually I will just ignore it or delete it if it's something like super mean or rude or it's just like someone being blatantly ha hateful sometimes they make me laugh like let me read the comp well sh I don't know if I should read them um <laughs> some of these are just funny to me 
But, anyways, I think at the end of the day, do you're the only person who can um, change yourself. You have to be willing to put in the work. And I am trying my hardest, right? So I will keep you guys updated. Probably I'll try to do monthly updates if I can. Um, but so far, I would say since maybe July, June, I've lost about 10 pounds. So not too bad, but I am um, like really going to try to hone in. Now that I'm feeling better... I was scared going back to the gym because I got a heat rash, so that was another kind of obstacle that I've been dealing with, um, but we're trying to just get back into working out. I was going to the gym pretty consistently for a little bit, and I was actually enjoying it. It feels good to do something that is, um, what's it called, like feeding your um, body in a healthy way. Or even just challenging yourself. So I think like it is. I do actually enjoy going to the gym and working out. Most of the time. Um, but I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it'd be hard getting to the gym. Like sometimes the hardest part is just getting to the gym. Um, but I always surprise myself sometimes. Having a good playlist. I have noticed I work out a lot better with worship music than I do like... I don't know, like, rap, trap music. Like, worship music is what I like to listen to at the gym. So it also is feeding me spiritually, in a sense, because, you know, I just feel like it's a lot more encouraging listening to worship music, um, in my opinion, most of the time. So, yeah, that is all I wanted to say, I guess. Um, I, like I said was not offended by that comment at all um i don't know i guess i'm like realistic most of the time um i think as long as i'm um honest with yourself like i'm not lying to myself about my size or my weight it's just like stuff like that won't bother to you doesn't bother me as much um same with like even if someone posts like um someone else this is me just rambling at this point, but there was another comment someone made and some people got offended on my behalf and I was like not even bothered by it. So maybe I have gotten thicker skin, I don't know. I took a three month break and I feel like the comments don't bother me as much as they used to. I think it's just because I'm also in a much better place than I was three months ago. I feel like I was dealing with so much that you know, every little thing bothered me, but now that I'm doing better, I have a more stable job, career path right now, you know, it does things don't bother you as much. So I also, I think more so had to do with where I was at, at that time in my life was dealing with a lot of things and dealing with, you know, hateful comments just added a little bit more stress to me than I could handle at the time. But now that I'm doing better um, and at a new job and have a lot more stability, um, those like same comments wouldn't wouldn't bother me as much. So like I think it was less about the comments and more about where I was in my life at that time. And that's true for a lot of things. Like if you're having a bad day, like the little things that happen to you feel infinitely times worse on a bad day than if you're having a great day and there's like a minor inconvenience like whatever it's still a great day so you know it sometimes it's just like the temperament you have at the time all right i need to go to bed but yeah bye guys